This is the dawn of a new era in British karting. Over 550 drivers in 12 classes competing for victory over 18 race weekends. This is the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. Mansell Raceway hosts the third weekend in the Rotax calendar for the British Kart Championships. And in Junior Rotax, everybody is trying to halt the charge of championship leader Kai Hunter. One man who might beat him is Daniel Ginshard, who's making his British Junior Rotax debut this weekend. But after his amazing run at Larkhall in Ayami three weeks ago, he's hunting for the podium again. Uh, well, I've done a few weekends in Europe, but I've come back to the UK scene because the racing's the hardest, so it always challenges you. The track is um, very smooth, um, the facilities are amazing, everything's really nice. They've really sorted out for the Motorsport UK scene. Hopefully we're starting 11th in the pre-final, so if we can do some damage from there, then it'll be fantastic. So Kai Hunter, number five, ironically enough and very appropriately enough on pole position. Then it is Will Ellswood, Tom Adams, Matthew Higgins and Brody Trahorn from Harrison Collings. Matthews, Egby, Taylor Truman and Ginchard. Is it a clean start this time? Yes, and we're away. Ellswood's got the best start, but Kai Hunter's going to get him back again on the inside line. Adams squeezes through to the inside of Ellswood and there's a big shot further back. We've had a big check into the barriers. We've had to drive a pirouette through the first corner and into the barriers, but okay, I think, as the race will continue. But out in front, it is Kai Hunter, who has gone out in front of Tom Adams, who has squeezed into second past Will Ellswood. Fourth position, that looks like uh, one of the Coles cards. I think that's probably going to be Edward Matthews, who's made a terrific start. But unfortunately, we have one missing from the fray. And uh, that is game over for Joe Leake for the Tim Wilson Motorsport team, unfortunately, through the chicane. And at the end of the first lap, despite the drama at the first corner, it is no yellows. So into the second lap go our three leaders, Hunter, Adams and Ellswood. Then it is Matthews in front of Collings and Higgins. Ginshard's already up to B7 in front of Brody Trahorn. So a good run from young Dan Ginshard. He makes the move for sixth position. Ginshard straight up in the third hairpin. And Dan Ginshard continues his well with Oh, contact! Contact in the third half meet. That's one of the Cosmics going around. Now, let's trouble chat. I think that might be Ben Kaisley who's come off. It could well be his teammate, actually. Will Jenkins, who's already had a bit of a nightmare weekend. Will Jenkins, of course, the son of the very prolific two-time British truck racing champion, Dave Jenkins. But Will is having a really tricky time of it in the British Championships. His speed is improving. His results are not. So Hunter, Ellswood and Adams up the inside for fourth place. That's a lovely move from Harrison Collings. Harrison Collings gets in a fourth position there as he makes the bid. And now in fifth position, riding behind him, that's the Coles Racing and Matthews. Ginshard goes again up the inside line and gets fifth position. So Ginshard is going through this field like scissors through wet newspaper, charging his way through. Absolutely terrific start for the young persistence motorsport driver. And this is his first weekend in the British Rotax Championship. He's obviously had good success in Europe, but now, hearing the British Championships, he seems to be dipping his toe in the water of nearly every single class in the British Championship. I'm half expecting Ginchard to show up at a TKM next. They come off the final turn, and he's now challenging the fourth place man, Harrison Collings, and going for the inside line. And Ginchard's done it again, but he runs wide, and Collings gets back through. So now the three leaders are battling away for position. And up the inside, that's Ellswood! Ellswood for the lead! Side by side with Hunter for the lead now! Hunter tries to squeeze back to the inside! Ellswood's not letting him have it! Will Ellswood takes the lead, but Hunter's back to him. Now tries to cut on the switch. Adams is on the inside of Hunter. And Ellswood steals the lead! Brilliant racing from Will Ellswood, as gutsy as you like! Out of the hairpin that begins the third sector, down the straight and up towards the chicane. And Will Ellswood wrestles with Kai Hunter and grabs the lead. 
Brilliant driving. Now it's a five-way fight for the victory, thanks to that little tussle, as Ginchard is at the back of the queue, with Harrison Collings in fourth place next up. And Ginchard is just waiting for it, wait for it. He'll make his move in the same place if he gets there. He's not quite going to be able to make the move on the inside line. But he is the overtaking king at the moment as he settles into that fourth place mark, uh, fifth place mark, sorry, as Kai Hunter again tries to war with Will Ellswood, who leads the way. So now, over the course of the weekend, Will Ellswood has two victories because he picked up two wins in the heats. Kai Hunter has two wins because he's got a heat and the first final. So now, one of them has got to beat the other. They come off the chicane, both a little bit twitchy, but now down to the first corner, and Kai Hunter still leads from Ellswood. Third is Adams, fourth is Collings, and fifth is Daniel Ginchard. Having made his way up from 10th position, now a bit of the top five, and making his bid, Ginchard to fourth! So Ginchard now comes through in a fourth position. Great bit of racing. So now he's P4, and Collings in fifth place, trying to get back on terms. Bit of a wobble from a few of the midfielders, as they are all jockeying for position in the intense heat, as the air temperature is now up to 20, but the humidity is... Uh, well, it's a bit of a medium mix, I suppose. There are clouds in the air, but it's definitely starting to get quite hot here. The breeze is making it a very deceptive end of the chicane. And that's Hunter back in front. Hunter back in front of Ellswood. So Hunter's regained the lead, but Ellswood's going to come back at him, surely. So Hunter leads the way. Ellswood second. Third is the number... Well, I say the number... It's the E-plate, isn't it? It's Tom Adams. And then it's the 54 of Dan Ginchard, who is there in fourth position, as into the pits. Into the pits to retire comes Mackenzie Cresswell. Wow, well, big disappointment for Cresswell then. And he joins Spencer Schinner and Joe Leake on the sidelines. So uh, Mackenzie Cresswell sadly ends his race at Mansell, uh, Mansell Raceway. Out of the hairpin, down the straight. Kai Hunter continues to lead, having snatched it back from Ellswood. Third is Tom Adams and fourth is Dan Ginshard. A really exciting race battle to come from these four. A big push to the first corner. Kai Hunter in front of Ellswood. Third place is Tom Adams, the English Open champion, and then Dan Ginshard, the vice champion in British Honda Cadet last season. He goes for third and makes it! Brilliant from Ginshard! Now he's in the podium! Dan Ginchard has fought his way from 10th on the grid to be third in this race, and we are not even halfway through. A great bit of driving from young Dan Ginchard, who is fired up and motivated today. He really wants to put on a show. So, down the straight, it is now Kai Hunter leading. Second is Will Ellswood, and he's still got plenty to do here as they complete the first 10 laps of racing. There's going to be a rip-roaring second half to this race. We're on lap nine as Hunter is battling with Will Ellsworth, but up to third has come the red speed of Dan Ginchard for Persistence Motorsport. They're having a really good season as a team, obviously with great performances from the likes of Lewis Gilbert, Ben Burgess and Kieran Kay in the senior contingencies, as well as in juniors. But now... They have got a strong charge in Rotax in the British Championship this weekend from Dan Ginchard, who is in third position, now in front of Tom Adams and Harrison Collings. Then it's Higgins in front of Trey Horn, Egby, Taylor Truman, Stedman and Taylor Babs, who's fought his way up into 11th position. Taylor Babs, the winner of the Repercharge, is now up to 11. Absolutely phenomenal. They come off a hairpin. And still, there's an amazing battle going on between these two up front. The number five of Kai Hunter still leads the way in front of Ellswood. Third is Dan Ginchard, who has fought his way from 10th on the grid to be in third place. And there's still a long way to go. So Ginchard will go into the second half of the race now. And there's a lot of opportunities for him to make good. Into the third sector. Break. Turn in for the right-hand hairpin. Back on the power down the straight. And this is a great run for Kai Hunter in the lead. Will Ellswood is still all over the back of him in second, but Dan Ginchard in third is the danger man. He's charging. Hunter, Ellswood, Ginchard, Adams, Collings, and up the inside for six. That's a bold move, and it's a good one from Will Egby. Will Egby gets into sixth position now. And Egby is battling away, of course, with Matthew Higgins, 
but they duel for sixth position and Egby makes the move. So that is going to be Will Egby now into the top six for the first time, I think, this weekend. So a good run from Egby. And there's going to be a big battle for the rest of the race now for him as he tries to close up to the top five. Oh, contact in the chicane! Three of them have gone into the hairpin at the beginning of the second sector. Three of them clatter into the barriers. Two of them have definitely got going again. I think the third one is out of it. So a big problem there in the midfield. Trying to work out who it was is going to be interesting. I think it's Brown, Casey and Kay who have all come together there. So yes, Archie Brown, Ben Casey and Kieran Kay have had an incident there with the hairpin. Two of them have got going. But the third one, I think, is out of the race. Or certainly, no, has got going again, but now right down at the back. So Casey has rejoined in front of Allison. Kay and Brown are now down to the bottom, unfortunately. But at least they can continue. So now the race action continues up at the front end of the field as Kai Hunter continues to lead in front of Will Ellswood. I think Inshard may have lost third position. No, but he's looking likely to if Tom Adams keeps this kind of speed up. Adams is giving him plenty to think about as Adams goes for the move on the inside at the first step and Ginshard slams the door shut. Lovely bit of driving. Adams is still there in fourth position. Ginshard is still giving him plenty to do. But Ginshard will not let a chief overtake happen today. So down to the hairpin comes Kai Hunter leading the race from Will Ellswood. And it's these two who will duel for the victory. They've checked out in front of the rest of the field. So Ginshard is third from Adams and Collings, but a podium is likely to be all they will get from this race because the leaders have definitely cleared out now to the tune of 1.4 seconds in the second half of the race. So Kai Hunter and Will Ellswood are disappearing into the distance as Ellswood is just biding his time. He's waiting for his moment. So Ellswood in second place is the man to watch, the persistence driver running well in second place. And they have now got drivers in second and third in this final. But can they overhaul Kai Hunter? He has not lost a single final all season. Can Kai Hunter be beaten here at Mansell Raceway? It's going to be a really tough battle and a really intense fight as the drivers continue to charge forward into the third sector. And Kai Hunter continues to control the pace. But it will not be easy from this point onwards. They go down the stretch up towards the chicane and Kai Hunter running in front of Will Ellswood. They charge down the main straight, over the line, and up towards the first corner once again. Ellswood still running well. Third place is Dan Ginshard. Fourth for Adams, fifth for Collings, and sixth. It's this amazing battle between Brian Taylor Truman and Will Egby as they fight for sixth place. Now Brody Trahorn has come up past Higgins to get into eighth, but not for long. Higgins makes the move on Trahorn. Trahorn has got to fight big time to keep back the number 62 of Jack Stedman. Stedman is now trying to fend off from the man he's battling with. That's Taylor Babs, who was the winner of the repechage. He's now through to 10th. Great move from Taylor Babs. So Babs has broken his way from what was originally 29th on the grid for the first final. Now he's in 10th. What a great charge through the field from Taylor Babs. Across the line. And it's Kai Hunter versus Will Ellsworth. And they're still stretching away from the third place squabble. Ginchard, Adams and Collins. And again, Will Egby makes a brilliant move on the inside of Taylor Truman. So Ryan Taylor Truman down to seventh on Will Egby as Egby makes another bold move to get into sixth position. And now Higgins has got through on Trey Horn and Babs has got through on Stedman as they fight in the top ten. So the leaders are still running well. Kai Hunter and Will Ellswood. They continue to battle forward. But it's Hunter and Ellswood. Oh, yellow flags! Yellow flags! Now it looks as though we've had somebody off up the, the hairpin, yellow flags. Now that is for and off in the midsection. Now who is that that's gone? It's a slam of the clubs. Have we lost one of the Project One drivers? I think that might be Will Egby. That's Will Egby. Sixth position, Will Egby has come off the circuit. And it looks as though we've got a yellow flag up at the hairpin as well. So Egby has fallen down the order. He's out of the race. But have we lost somebody else as well now, I wonder? Cresswell is out, Shinner is out, Leek is out, and now Will Egby is out as well from sixth position. So a big problem, but unfortunately there's nothing that can be done about it now. 
As the leaders come down the straight with a minute and 47 on the clock, they will come through the final chicane with, I think, doing the math quickly, four laps to go. Kai Hunter in front of Ellswood, and in third place, it is Ginchard from Adams and Collins. They will duel away for third position in the closing stages of this race. Down into the braking zone for the hairpin. And still, great battles for the leaders up front. Hunter and Ellswood having a great run. So Kai Hunter and Will Ellswood fight for the victory once again. Ellswood is trying to stay with Kai Hunter at the moment. And it looks as though at the second half of the season, it's going to need something very special to wrestle first position in these finals away from Kai Hunter. He took both the victories at PF International. He won both races at Raura. And now he looks like he's going to take both wins at Mansell Raceway. Kai Hunter getting away from Ellswood. Ginchard still has pressure from Adams and Collins. Sixth position has now gone to Matthew Higgins. He's in front of Taylor Truman, Taylor Babs, Brody Trahorn and Jack Stedman in front of Matthews. They come down the short stretch into the hairpin. And this is going to be a really tight battle. Down the straight again as Kieran Kay looks to get back on terms as he makes the move up on the inside of the 28 of Harry Gibson into the first corner. But the leaders are still battling away. Well, Ellswood is trying to stay with Kai Hunter, but Kai is making it very different, difficult. And it's quite interesting for Kai because he's now got to basically keep his cool for the last two laps of racing in front of Will Ellswood. So Kai Hunter leads the race and it looks as though it's going to be six wins out of six in point scoring finals for Kai Hunter. Other drivers have won heats, nobody else has won a final. And Ginchard still runs third in front of Adams and Collings. He needs to keep this together in the closing stages. But there's going to be a great last lap for a couple of drivers in the field as they battle for the last place on the podium. Certainly between Ginchard, Adams and Collings, their race is going to go down to the wire to grab the last place on the podium. Out of the hairpin and down the straight towards the final chicane. Kai Hunter is being caught by Ellswood. Ellswood is reining him in, but he's only got one more lap. Here we go. Hunter and Ellswood. I wonder if Kai Hunter feels he's got this race already won. And Ellswood is now having to work hard to get back on turns. Ginchard is trying to hang on a third in front of Adams. Ginchard will keep it neat and tidy through the hairpins. But Kai Hunter has gone into qualifying that mode. And now there's a move from Collings. Collings makes the move on Adams. Collings gets through into fourth place on Adams. He could back the podium here. Ginchard is hanging on, and back on the inside goes Collings to hang on from Tom Adams. But out of the final hairpin, it is Kai Hunter. The number five is dominant again. How appropriate at Mansell Raceway. Six wins out of six for Kai Hunter. Domination. Kai Hunter wins from Ellswood, and it's Ginchard who is third. From Collings and Tom Adams. Brilliant racing all the way to the flag. Matthew Higgins is going to come through for a sixth place finish in front of Ryan Taylor Truman, Taylor Babs, Brody Trahorn, and the top 10 rounded out by Jack Stedman. But what a thrilling race and a fantastic achievement for Kai Hunter. You'd never have predicted coming into this weekend, the third round of the championship, that Kai Hunter would be unbeaten across the finals. But he yet again has shown his domination and his incredible skill, Kai Hunter. Two wins at PF International, two wins at Raura, and now two wins at Mansell Raceway. Kai Hunter truly is the king of Junior Rotax in 2019. He comes into the pit lane with both Leo and Nigel Mansell giving him a major round of applause in the pit lane. And Kai Hunter is very appreciative of that from Nigel Mansell. Will Ellswood is second from Dan Ginchard in third. Harrison Collings fourth from Tom Adams. Matthew Higgins rounds out the top six from Ryan Taylor, Truman and Taylor Babs. Brody Trahorn and Jack Stedman. 
Then Ed Matthews and Charlie Knight, Jensen Watson, Harry Newman Oakley, James Crossley and Harry Holland from Ollie Tyler and Hugh Lawrence. Massive progress made up from both Chris Simpson and Will Jenkins. Miles Barthorpe at 21st from Will Walker. Tin and Rourke and Dan Armstrong, Oscar Hull and Kieran Kay from Ben Casey, Harry Gibson, Owen Allison and Archie Brown. With the retirements, Will Egby, Mackenzie Cresswell, Spencer Shinner and Joe Leak. But the headline here is that it looks like in 2019, no one can beat Kai Hunter in Junior Rotax in a final this season. Six finals and six wins for Kai Hunter as he canters to the Junior Rotax crown. But with William Ellswood and Daniel Ginshard joining him on the podium here at Mansell Raceway, there could be some fireworks in the second half of the season. Start off of the weekend um, a little bit off pace from um, Will. Through the heat, um, came in second um, and first, which for us setting on the f- for the first final. And um, I just led from uh, the first final and um, took that win. And um, same for the second final with uh, Will. Tight, uh, just close to us all way. Yes, it was a really good weekend. Um, obviously, we qualified third, won both of the heats. Uh, final one started pole, finished second to Kai. And then in final two, happened the same really. Second place was good. I'd like to thank Pussy Motorsport and my dad. Um, well, we haven't done many laps around here, so it was kind of we were guessing for a lot of the day for the, a lot of the weekend. So we were second on track in one, but got a nose cone and sixth in the other. So we started 11th for the finals. We got 10th in final one, and then obviously third in final two, and that was fantastic. I want to thank Screed Force and Rentamac for all the hard work they put into me. 